Over Christmas, I got myself and Lucy a little Christmas present and I filmed it and I'll insert it here. I commissioned someone, I was gonna say a friend, he's not a friend. He is someone I went to drama school with. When I went to RADA, he was in second year, I feel like, when I was doing the foundation course at RADA. Basically, I've been friends with him on Facebook ever since leaving. I think he was one of those like acquaintances, basically. Turns out he does these amazing drawings. Let me show you his, this little flyer that he's put in of theatre buildings. His name's Peter Hanna, and he, so that's the, don't know what theatre, it's in Victoria, it might be the Victoria Apollo, I think it is actually, Victoria Apollo for Wicked, Her Majesty's Theatre, um, that's where Hamilton is, that's another Victoria-based theatre, but anyway, does all these theatre drawings in pen. And I just think they're incredible. I've been looking for a Wyndham's one. I don't think he's actually drawn Wyndham's. I feel like he's drawn everything except Wyndham's. And I'm like, I really want one of those because I worked at Wyndham's Theatre for years. Um, however, I saw that he does commissions. And so I asked if he would draw mine and Lucy's house. And so I sent him lots of pictures and he's been working on this. And he's basically done an original piece of art, obviously himself. And then I've asked for a print of it as well, which I think is coming in another couple of days. And I'm gonna give one to Lucy and one to me. I haven't seen it yet. It's in the box. Let's have a look. Oh, so that is, oh, so that's just to protect it. It's already framed. Did I know this? I didn't know. Oh my gosh. I haven't turned it over yet. It's just down here. It's just here. Let me have a look. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I need to look at this in the light as if he can do this. Now that is talent. Wow. Now I'll blur out the address. I asked him to write the address at the bottom of the photo. There's mine and Lucy's house. So cute. I can't believe that's all in pen. Look at all the bushes, the brickwork and the red front door. So I did say to him, lots of his drawings are in black and white. In fact, most of them are. And I said, oh, I was thinking, cause we've got a red front door. I was like, should we, should we do a red front door? And he was like, I think it would look really good in red. So everything is in black and white, as you saw, except the front door. I love that. I just thought it was a nice memento for me and Lucy to have two sister prints of the house. You know, it's my first home, regardless of what happens to the house. I mean, we're renting it out and hoping to keep it. Maybe one day we'll sell it, but it will always have a special memory as being my first home and Lucy's first home. So I hope Lucy will really love it. Definitely check out Peter Hanna Art if you are, if you want a beautiful West End theatre picture or if you've got a commission. I think he doesn't do commissions of like just anything. I think he specializes mainly in buildings and things. So, but yeah, check out. It wasn't cheap, but it's worth it. I think this is like an original love, love, love. So I got Lucy one as well, so I'm gonna give it to her when she gets here as a little, well, I say a surprise. I told her on the phone, I showed her on FaceTime. But yeah, I will give it to her when she gets here. Right, next job, this gallery wall. Let's take down the ones that are mine. So this one's Lucy's. This one of California is Lucy's. That's a Moira Rose quote from Schitt's Creek. That's Lucy's. A Christian one, that's Lucy's. This is mine. That was a present from Lucy to me. So that one is coming with me. Let's pop it there, Ava, it's of you. Um, plants are Lucy's. This one is mine, can you guess? <laughs> this one is mine, so this is a photo taken, I believe from 1913, of the street, my street. So that is still there, that fountain. These are some shops opposite my house, and my house is that one, I think? But I just thought that was so cute. I went through some archives to find that. That one's also mine. Surprise, surprise. That one's also mine of Ava. And this one is also mine. Oh, let's take that down. So that leaves Lucy's there. Okay, there's a pile of stuff. This is a dog bed that was gifted to me by Eglu. Um, so I might as well put that in the car already. I mean, it's revealing all of that, but we need to give it all a clean anyway. So might as well take that to the car. Oh, I've gotten, that's Lucy's artwork. I think we got those joint, but I don't know. I mean, I don't particularly want them. So I'll see if Lucy wants them. This is mine. This was a present from Lucy. Dance floor, it's like a private joke. <laughs> um, so that's coming with me too. 
Polonius is coming with me, but I'll leave him there because tonight it'll be nice to have a bit of extra light. This plant, this prayer plant is mine and the plant pots, that's coming with me. Everything else is Lucy's. And then I don't think I have anything in the kitchen. These are all joint, like the kettle, the toaster, but I think we'll get rid of those. Yeah, my, oh, that's my error, but I think I'll get rid of that as well. Maybe I'll take that to my car now. Unless Lucy wants it, I doubt she'll want it. Oh, well guys, it's five o'clock and I've got my comfies on and uh, I've done all the stuff I want to do today. I texted Lucy, she's actually not going to be here for a couple of hours. I thought she'd be here in the afternoon. Um, so we are going to order a takeaway when she arrives. She said, choose the takeaway, so we're ready to go. But I've just been to Waitrose and got us a few bits, but also me some snacks for now, because I'm absolutely starving. All I've had today was that baguette. So I've got some pop chips for me to eat now. I've got some dough balls for us tonight to have before our takeaway, whatever we end up having. I hope it's pizza. Um, and I got these, these were two for £5.50. So they weren't cheap, but uh, Waitrose Millionaire Mini Bites and the very chocolatey chocolate mini rolls, which are my favorite. And then a Diet Coke. Oh, and I did get also a reduced chicken katsu bites. So I'm gonna eat that now as well. Pour myself a Diet Coke and put the telly on. I'm gonna light a fire, guys. This is the thing I miss most about this house is firstly, the beautiful Victorian cast iron fireplace. And secondly, just having a fire. There is no fireplace, there is no chimney at our house. So yeah, I'm very, very chuffed that I get one final night of lighting a fire and it is absolutely freezing, guys. I've popped the heating on as well. It said it was 12 degrees inside the house. That's how cold it is in here. And it's still snowing outside. It's very cold. I think it's about three degrees outside. So let's put a fire on. See if I remember how to make one. Right, I've lit some kindling. Just a few more fire lighters there if we need them. And then got some wood there and some wood in the shed outside as well. Oh, this is new. When we had, we had someone to fit the gas safety in order to rent the house out. We had to have a gas safety certificate, an energy performance certificate, and an electrical safety certificate, and that was part of the gas safety. It failed, and then we had to get that fitted. I think it was that one. Was it electrical safety? I don't know. Oh yeah, warm my tootsies up. Warm them up! We also need to get the chimney swept before we rent it out. Not a legal requirement, I just think it's nice to do. Right, let's grab, I don't know what that metal thing is. I'm not going to chuck it though in case Lucy says it's something important. I don't want to squish the fire. There we go. It's a tiny, tiny fire. I know that's not really how you're supposed to build a fire, but it's hard to do when you've got a tiny fire. Right, a TV on. Oh, that is so cozy. Just like old times, dog on my lap, fire on and TV on. Thank you, Ava. Mum and Dad have said it's arrived. Look, it's now in their garage. Isn't that mad? He left two hours ago. It's at mum and dad's. Fantastic. What a good job done, Ava. And you weren't helpful at all. Boop. Oh. You really got in there that time, didn't you? <laughs> Straight in for the lips. Ooh. What are the ears? All right, guys, I forgot to film our takeaway. Adam's here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was going to say boyfriend, but it's not true anymore. Hubby. Hubby. Newlyweds. <laughs> anyway, I got Lucy a present as I showed you guys, and Lucy has already seen this on FaceTime. But I don't know whether to act it. Yeah. It was a surprise. Look at Rodney, so cute. So it's so all drawn guys. in pen. This one is is the printed yes, version. Lovely. <laughs> but um, oh, there is an original. Yeah. So I've got the original. And then this one is the printed version. It's so nice. It looks so it's much my nice friend. Ooh, how did you find them? So he went to RADA with, well, not with me. He was in on the three year course when I was there. And then he mainly draws theatres, wow. like West End theatres. And then he does take commissions. Yeah, but I think he mainly just draws buildings. So um, cool. And then I was like, could you do our house? Aww, and then he did. I love it. Good. So much nicer than <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lucy's just sorting out all of her alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I think this is all yours, huh? I think it's your. I think it's joint. Well, Aperol's mine. Sambuca may be mine, but. We're going to leave our lovely bar there, courtesy of Drew and Anna. We will get it at some point, guys. We will. We just don't want to leave holes in the walls. <laughs>
the next morning. <laughs> As you can see, it was comfortable. <laughs> Very comfortable. Uh, it is 20 past 8. I was going to get up at 7 and go to the gym, but I don't think I will. <sighs> right, I'm up, showered, ready. I've moved some bits to the car. I've repainted my door frame. Ava has swished her tail against it. She now has a white tail. <laughs> I've done a bit of cleaning, tidying, so I've got just over two hours until the photographer arrives. So I thought, I'll take my backpack, I'll walk into town, not central London, but my nearest town, which I can tell you about now, is Putney. Um, so I'm going to walk into Putney, which I love, and I'm going to find a coffee shop, do a little bit of work, and then head back. Um, it's just like a little, little nod to my old life. Oh my gosh guys, I need to tell you this. This house at the end of my road, as you can see, it's huge. It's been my dream. I was like, if I had the money and if it was for sale one day, I'd love to buy it and do it up. It was an old, it was an orphanage back, I think in the war for girls. And look, you can barely see it through all the bushes, but you get a better view this end. It's on the market, but it's on the market for three and a half million pounds. And that's it, it goes down as well the same amount, so it's absolutely huge. Three and a half million pounds, can't afford that. It needs another three and a half million spending on it, I think, <laughs> probably not that much. It probably needs another, I reckon you could spend as much as a million on it, you know, doing it up, extending it, replacing things that need replacing, I don't know, but yeah. Lovely, lovely house. Yes, the gates are open on my favorite cut through. So normally this is shut, but because the car's just come out, I can sneak in. This is like a little gated place where people live. And I just think these mansion blocks are beautiful. They're all apartments, but they're stunning. I've just realized guys, this is what I really miss about living down here is I've got a 25 minute walk now into Putney and in Putney, there's everything you can think of, all the high street shops and cafes and restaurants, 25 minute walk. And then if I want, I can go on a 15 minute train journey. It costs me three pounds each way, a 15 minute train journey and I'm in central London. And I'm like, that is just, oh, that is what I miss. <laughs> Up north, my walk to Dunkin Donuts is like 35 minutes. So it's, you know, the walk into Putney is way shorter than, than the walk to Duncan and way nicer. But uh, yeah, never mind. I can drive into Leeds in like 20 minutes. So it's, it's not the end of the world, but there's something about just being able to leave my door, my front door, walk to the station, get on a 15 minute train and be in the center of London. It's a lovely blue sky, sunny day in Putney today. Oh. Here's the train station where I'd always get the train into London. Not today, sadly. Maybe another time. Right, the house is pretty much ready and tidy-ish <laughs> for the photographers. We'll need to move a few bits, you know. I might take the things off the table when they take a shot of the dining room. But basically, it's all been cleaned and, well, not deep cleaned. We've, we're gonna get a professional cleaner in. I'm gonna take the TV after the photos have been done. I'm taking the TV with me because I think my brother wants it. What do you think? <laughs> Shy. Um, it's, it's all empty, it? really. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. It is sad. I've chucked a few bits in my car from in there, like the iron and, and ironing oh, board, so I can get rid of those, okay. rehome them. Yeah. And when they've gone, I'll take the TV off. Yeah. I'm gonna try and put the bulb in the floodlight as well before I go. Kids. Gosh, kids, stop it. Rodney. <laughs> Oh, right, I've just left. My car is filled to the brim with all sorts, things that I want and I'm taking with me back up, back up, back up north, up home. Uh, stuff that I'm rehoming, like giving to mum and dad, my brothers, things that I'm gonna take to the charity shop on behalf of Lucy and I. So I feel bad that Lucy's left with a few little bits, you know, like all the cutlery, the pots and pans, the crockery, but she is gonna be in and out for the next week or so. So she kind of still needs a few things. There's still a kettle and a toaster and a microwave. Um, but I've taken a bunch of stuff that uh, she was gonna give to charity. So I'll take that to the charity shop. It's all on the back seat, plus in the boot, so. Anyway, Ava, it's time for us to go see Granny and Grandad and Uncle Oscar. Yeah. Oh, I've just arrived and Mama's made me a sandwich. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yum. 
<laughs> this is what I miss about living at home is having someone to make food. <laughs> it's a bit boring. It's no. No, oh, I like it. Tuna and buffalo sauce. <laughs> Yum. Put your job Keegan's designed that a program, so uh, you're supposed to be doing six and then... It's the next day. I haven't vlogged much, guys, because it's been a fleeting visit. I think in total I've been here 18 hours, which sounds like a lot, but when you've been asleep for nine of those, <laughs> it's not. Um, we've been doing lots of organizing and sorting and exchanging. So Ben, my brother, has bought mine and Lucy's TV from us. I've also rehomed my Dyson air cool, tower cool fan. Mum and Dad have got that. Um, I've brought some 15 kg dumbbells to add to mum and dad's gym, which you saw dad work out last night. It was very funny. Mum and dad have gotten rid of loads of things. I wanted a new vase, so I've, I've reclaimed one of their old vases. One of my plants as well that was still in my house in London. I've rehomed. Mum and dad are going to have her because I already have a prayer plant from my friends Drew and Anna up north. So mum and dad are going to have that. Ignore the butternut squash. Are you ready to go home? Are you sad? Yeah, me too. Well guys, it is Thursday now and I got home yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I don't think I've done an outro to this video. I don't even know how much I filmed for this video. If it's gonna be one, two, three, who knows? Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed one of my first videos of the year. I am just now making a coffee. It's early. I've got my meeting with my social media coach today. I've got a three and a half hour meeting. It's 10 to 1.30. So I'm just enjoying some downtime going over some notes and then, yeah, we'll have that long meeting. Normally I go to Dunkin' Donuts to have a meeting because um, normally they're about an hour and a half, but this one at the start of every year is three and a half hours. So I think I'm going to just do it here. Hope you enjoy, guys. I hope you're having a great year so far and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.